Nothing to kings, back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans. Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours. The final room lounges, smoking cigars. Purchasing properties, opening bars. Two lips in life, put tattoos over the scars. Scrolls and Virgo retainer, explain how I look for real. It's the kind of bad. Lil homie took the deal, $100 sticks. Cognac and Cubans at all costs. Be about your money is the movement. Either in a black box, making a review about an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view. Cop and blow with hoes, we don't wife those. Zeros and commas, that's how I saw so much shit in the streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, we got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't eat a lot. He was caught up in them sports, but it got sloppy. Just hope that nigga take the deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel. Riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat. Sagging through the swap meet. Banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand. This shit to the death. I can have a million dollars. Still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smirk. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirts My niggas tired of taking ill. I know that shit wrong. Got my Dead homies looking down on me like a drone Hopping out of pouring whips Politicking with the crips All in traffic with the homies Knocking down a fear Niggas chasing clout, we chase down enemies uh, Niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off their hennies yeah. That's just the way this life goes The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold That's on my soul I'm so much shit in these streets Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat I love the streets, but got this feeling in me I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me Ain't no feeling for me My brother told me take the deal Tell me all you fight is bodies But that's probably how they body everybody Gave me 12 up in the court, can't eat a lobby He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy That's the way that life goes The way that life goes Off the up and coming EP Two M's from none other Than my true day uno, Blue Smurf The long awaited, anticipated We putting the final touches on it On my mama, mama Breaking legs, they gonna need some crutches on it. It's the first little release we gonna tease featuring myself, my son in law, Just Jay on the hook, Puto on the beat, and Blue Smurf doing what he do so well, cleaning it up, running anchor in the relay of the keyways. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. That's the cover. Uh, two M's. The two M's is music and money, y'all. Shout out to my man Mike for the cover, putting that together real swell. Oh, my mama, my mama, I'm going to run that back one time, the way that life goes. You dig a lies on VJ Keyway, y'all in the black box. We still just warming up, y'all. My brother told me to take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they grind it. So much shit in the streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't eat a lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. Just the way the life goes. Y'all believe in the street, seen a lot of grief A lot of key for Kush stuff in the grab believe Chains, watches, rings, it's nothing to kings Back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours The final room lounges, smoking cigars Purchasing properties, opening bars Two lips in life, put tattoos over the scars Scrolls and Virgo retainer, explain how I look for real It's the kind of bad, Lil homie took the deal Hundred dollar sticks, Cognac and Cubans at all costs Be about your money is the movement Either in a black box, making a review About an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view 
cop and blow with hoes. We don't wife those. Yeah. Zeros and commas. That's I saw so much though. shit in the streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love this shit, bring out this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court. Told me, 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 me, I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. That's the way the life goes. Y'all believe in the streets, seen a lot of grief. A lot of key for Kush stuff in the grab believe. Chains, watches, rings. It's nothing to kings. Back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans. Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours. The final room lounges, smoking cigars. Purchasing properties, opening bars. So looks in life, put tattoos over the scars. Scrolls and verbal retainer, explain how it looked for real. It's the kind of bad. Lil homie took the deal. Hundred dollar sticks, cognac and cubes at all costs. Be about your money is the movement. Either in a black box, making a review about an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view. Cop and blow with hoes, we don't wife those. Zeros and commas, that's how I saw so much shit in the streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, we got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. Told that nigga take the deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel, riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat, sagging through the swap meet, banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand, this shit to the death. I can have a million dollars, still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smirk. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirts My niggas tired of taking hell. I know that shit wrong. Got my dead homies looking down on me like a drone. Hopping out of pouring whips, politicking with the crips, all in traffic with the homies. Knocking down a field. Niggas chasing cloud, we chase down enemies. Uh, niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off their hennies. Yeah. That's just the way this life goes. The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold. That's on my soul. I'm so much shit in these streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, we got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. That's the way the life goes. Sniper with Net Puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPR, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. It's the homie Cook Up Boss, goddammit, Cub Low. And y'all tuning in to the Wake and Bake Show with goddamn it, the homeboy Spider Low. Hey, with SPI, the realest nigga in LA. <laughs> Spider this bitch. My nigga Spider Low. Spider Low, nigga. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. Spider Low. That's my nigga. Spider Low. Spider Low. Shout out to SPI, that motherfucking nigga. You are now in the black box with the homie Spider Low, the most eastiest. Facts over feelings, keeping it a Google Plex. Feel my campaign. Spot a Loke, wake and bake. Better keep it Google, nigga. Loke is in LA somewhere doing what he's doing. I overlook my competition, never seeing him. I done train my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire, tell me what you thought. Life is a movie. SPI can't though. get close to me. Most they all cost though. They mad cause they can't be. They back in the game and they, they want to be. Yeah. yeah.
can't think without a whole zone It's almost gone, but don't think about the ozone I ain't ate all day, but I'm so blown Tell the DJ to throw on a slow song My life is what the po-po press for South Central is so, so stressful In the city of the bombest herbs The only way to know, know the calmest nerves Females say I'm a conceited nothing No good, only call when in need of something It's a thin line between the love and the lust Should never have young cuz in the cuffs Gotta be cool with them first advances Working in these uncertain circumstances Fake ballin' had you broke with a buzz Pump your brakes, come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us I get high as the heights that I'm reaching to Put a few in the air for big meat and blue Grind hard through the middle of the night Shit, I might see a little of the light I never sleep, barely get some rest I swallow my blood before I hit some stress Roscoe's on the east, but hit the west for jacks Pockets fat, I just hit for racks, yeah That's where I can get some clothes at too It's already one and it closed at two Fast lane, balling out, racing the range Gang banger, all about chasing the change I'm icy, judging the jury Ain't trying to see the judge and the jury Eastie, represent the E and S but I still bay Mac like BMF And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Listen, come smoke one with us Look, get money every day like it's no thing Buy zone of that cushion, smoke the whole thing Rolled up, deuces, yeah. carry four fives yeah. Off a of half a gram of Kush, but we so high South Central where they murder with no alibi Do walk-ups and don't respect drive-bys We some young killers, yeah. we still some fly guys yeah. Neighborhood near Puzzle and SBI We rich roller coaster crib and that's our lifestyle And that explains why my neck and wrist iced out Smoke big blunts, yeah. and ride luxury yeah. A nigga beat his bitch up cause she was fucking me and then I beat the pussy up and told her it'll be Alright, just tell me every time you mention me Yeah, and that's just how it's meant to be It's an in hood thing, it's lost in half a century yeah. Uh, yeah. And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us And we can get high, y'all Never know when we gon' die, y'all Come smoke one with us Come smoke one with us Rest in peace. Keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her to leash. It's gonna be a lot of shirts press. Rest in peace. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. You better keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google. 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 Bottom line. Life. Show us a blessing. blessing. Pull up politic and blow us a session. We'll spot a local most easty. No mistake in the station. They making them statements. We waking and baking. Word of the day, EC on replay. The marijuana thumb with VJ Keyway. BS and BS. Killing on the track in the black box. We never put feelings over facts. Pay Machiavelli, run me the bread. I don't get mad, I get money instead. I be high, you can tell.
tell by a nigga eyes. But wise enough to enterprise, you dig a lies. Contemplating with the Google gang conversating. Counting coins while these cowards in the comments hating. Only thing count, my count getting another comma. I'm a magnet to the money on my mother mama. Better keep that shit up Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girly. It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google. Keep that shit Google when you mention me. First sign of disrespect, I'm turning her girly. It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google, then don't mention me. Run a check through the set, I bet them niggas mention me. Red Bull and Hennessy, I keep the same energy. No matter on a solo or a couple homies with me. Tell them come get me if they want confrontation. I keep a couple shooters with me. And we right here waiting no shit to pop off. Take a nigga top off, you tempt me. All that BS, you can miss me. Slide down century, doing about 60 in the gutter lane. Fade it off, yak and drop the pistol, hopping out the range. I won't change, keep it a Google, the only way. Mention me, I come out and play, that's on the gang We're not the same, I ain't nothing like these rap niggas Hanging with bangers, no bodyguards, we all strapped nigga. All truth, no lies, facts over feelings We ain't gonna start, so we can't finish Google gang Better keep that shit up Google when you mention me First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girly It's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace Keep it a Google, better keep it a Google Keep that shit Google when you mention me First sign of the respect, I'm turning her girly it's gonna be a lot of shirts, press, rest in peace. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Keep it a Google, you better keep it a Google. Better keep it a Google, keep it a Google. Google, Google, bang. Gina, gratitude is the attitude. The show is a blessing to be here with the Google gang. And blow us a session on my mama, mama. It took me this long in my life to learn how to sip, girl. I had to get my first DUI. I'm going to keep it a Google. Damn, I remember my daddy used to say. I said, man, I ain't got one all these years. I ain't drink and drive all my life. I stopped sloppy drunk. I done passed out on the police. Middle of the night, no shirt on. While he went back, you know how to go write the ticket, girl. By the time he come back, he got to wake me up, still let me go. The she ref used to catch you with yak in a sack as long as it was green and not the white one they was looking for all the time and let you go. But sometimes when it's the middle of the night and the freeway wide open and you driving in all four lanes, <laughs> leaving Beverly Hills, oh, my mama, mama, rest in peace, the red rum. Uh, before we do that, let's do this, though, oh, my mama, mama. Ad lib. Ad lib is the word of the day. It was a pretty interesting, um, to me, interesting word because ad libs typically are is a word we all become familiar with through music. And um, since we were celebrating the living of the homie Red Rum, it's like uh, a ad lib being a um, word of the day was kind of like, I don't know, just something that i noticed on um, my mama mama ad lib means to improvise or to deliver spontaneously i don't know how much time he had to prepare his most infamous infamous verse uh but because it was hard i know him personally um quite well um do most mostly due to the fact that he and corrupt were cousins according to them and a corrupt, used to always call him Jermaine. Uh, off top when he seen him, when they, they had a real uh, brotherly, loving bond. So we, I would cross his path a lot, path a lot, moving around, politicking with corrupt. My condolences toward Gotti and the family and everybody on my mama, mama. Something interesting I found, it say God was born in like New Jersey or New York. Um, that's a, a common thing for a lot of the um, OG back in the day reptables to have not been born out here. It happens more and more often as I live and realize. 
I don't even have any idea the cause of death. I'm just uh, glad that it's not no violence and nothing of that nature. Um, regardless of what type of image, you know, the general public may have a cause, but it's based on, you know, the project he was on was so banged out and just the posture, the general way he carried himself was so indicative of that image. Um, if you didn't get a chance to meet him, you probably would have a misconception of the gentleman he was or the cool type of dude he was. Just, uh, you know, uh, easy to talk to, under, over, understood the whole layout. Had no idea that he was not born out here. Probably lends to the way he was able to politic so well. He had a a good sense of, you know, being fully involved but yet not being offensive unless need be and being able to maneuver and matriculate um, through individuals on both sides of the situation. So I just want to say rest in peace to him on my mama, mama. Uh, yeah, we grew up watching him. I don't know how many of y'all did that weren't from our immediate area, but uh, rest in peace to Red Rum. Two M's is coming up soon, y'all. Uh, as Blue Smurf Project, I get to present something on behalf of an artist. I ain't finna be all over it on my mama, mama. I'm on this. This is the street single. He have his own single um, that's gonna be dropping um, after this one. But this is just to warm it up and get y'all a taste of what it is. It's called this the way. It's called the way life goes, and it's featuring my uh, son-in-law Just J on the hook. Puto did the beat. And uh, we just rocked it out. Uh, my mama, mama, y'all heard me speaking about my lawyer, Rosenberg. So that's a uh, shout out to him and one of my business partner, Beans. He's a Japanese giant beast. On oh, my mama, mama, to say the least, shout out, aunt. So just to give y'all some uh, sense of reference to some of the names that I'm dropping. Rosenberg on retainer. Tell me how I look for real. Kind of bad. Little homie took the deal. Back and forth to Beijing, not Japanese. I apologize so deeply and dearly. Chinese. Oh, my mama, mama, not the Japanese giant, the Chinese champ. <laughs> but that's why I say back and forth to Beijing, fucking with Ben. Oh, my mama, mama, y'all can dig a lot. Just pay attention. We're going to get all up in y'all ears real quick like, BS, where you at, cub? Music and money. Don't y'all think them two M's are some gang bang. I wonder if we should somewhere on that cover add music and money. That might be a good addition, huh? Yeah, two M's, music and money. Blue Smurf coming soon. The way life goes, featuring, featuring SPI and Judge, Judge J. Puto on the beat. Y'all know that's my day. You know, we in the black box. I'm so much shit in the streets. Went back to jail for like that shit on repeat. I love this shit, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. I'm about to tell me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was cold up in them sports, but he got sloppy. Just the way the life goes. Y'all believe in the streets, seen a lot of grief A lot of Keith and Kush stuff in the grobbly Chains, watches, rings, it's nothing to kings Back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours A final room lounge and smoking cigars Purchasing properties, opening bars Two licks in life, put tattoos over the scars Rosenberg on retainer, explain how I look for real It's the kind of bad, Lil homie took the deal Hundred dollar sticks Cognac and Cubans at all costs. Be about your money is the movement. Either in a black box, making a review about an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view. Cop and blow with hoes. We don't wife those. Zeros and commas. That's I'm how so I much know. shit in the streets. Went back to jail for like that shit on repeat. I love this shit, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feelings in me. I'm about to tell me, take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was 
gonna bring them sports, but they got sloppy bitch. Told that nigga take a deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel. Riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat. Sagging through the swap meet. Banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand. This shit to the death. I can have a million dollars. Still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smurf. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirt My niggas tired of taking ill. I know that shit wrong. Got my dead homies looking down on me like a drone. Hopping out of pouring whips. Politicking with the crips. All in traffic with the homies. Knocking down a field. Niggas chasing clout, we chase down enemies. Uh, niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off that Hennessy. Yeah. That's just the way this life goes. The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold. That's on my soul. I saw my shit in these streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feelings in me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't eat a lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. That's the way the life goes. On oh, my mama, my, my, my SBS, warming it up. Two M's coming, song, music, and money. Be a box of music and money at all costs. It's always made my activity when it's coming from around here. And then, in the midst of Bay my activity, I told you that M has to morph and mean other things like morals, manhood. Shout out to Ice Cube. Um, no, we don't pocket watch. So nine mil is nine mil. We don't, regardless of who is turning it down. And the fact that we in a climate where we got people like Juvenile talk about <laughs> vax that up, you know what I'm saying, flipping his, his biggest hit to promote something he's done, no scientific research on himself. For whatever reason, um, other than outside of the fact that it should be a human right as to what type of medication you take or don't take. Uh, Cube has found himself in a climate where he walked away from nine tickets. And it puts him in my book right there in the spirit with uh, the Ali. Um, I thank y'all for uh, who sent the name. I know his name is Tommy, who put his hand up. A couple of y'all, yummy for one, I see you, um, did that. And somebody else answered that and provided the information for me. I want to say Carter, but I don't know the last name. But his name is Tommy. I just feel like I should have been through that because that's my daddy name and my oldest brother. And I got a couple of nephews. <laughs> At least one nephew named Tommy. Yeah, it's Tommy. My daddy, Tommy, my brother, and then Tommy, my nephew. That's where it stopped. But I had another nephew that came from Tommy, my brother. I used to call him Tiny Tom on oh, my mama, mama. But, uh, yeah, just showing that substance, that uh, fortitude, that willingness to sacrifice. They say stand for something, fall for anything. Um, you see people being utilizing their platform of celebrity or fame and superstardom when it comes to Cube. So his peers, you see a lot of them. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Just people that have been willing to go through what we would consider the fire for a basic human right when a lot of people make it seem a lot easier just to go with the flow. It's just quite apparent that it's only, when according to mainstream media, there's only one side of the issue that is allowed to be presented. Now, you know, you see they just approved it for the babies. So you have to balance mentally the uh, thought process of a society, a government that's um, so bent and set on mandating a said thing. And then you have so many sound-minded individuals from that same government up on, well, who are members or subjects of that government or who have actually elected, who have been a, a part of the process of putting that government in place, who are on the opposing side um, of such a very pertinent issue. It's just mind-boggling to me that um, in a free country, 
you got to be so, so careful as to what you say when there is a such thing as the First Amendment. Blows my mind. Tommy Carlos Smith got the same type of spirit Big Tommy got. That's my daddy, Big Tommy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. He ain't Big Tommy just because it's a little Tommy. I think when he was like in junior high school, they probably was calling him Big Tommy. He's just a big old dude. But yeah, shout out Tommy Carlos Smith. I don't think I'll ever forget it again. That was an education for myself. And shout out O'Shea Jackson Ice Cube because like y'all, like I've been trying to tell y'all, I know what lies within him on these political issues. At a time when things were a lot less censored, he was a lot more direct and vocal about his position on a lot of political uh, issues in regards to us as melanated individuals um, behind enemy lines in the belly of the beast, you dig a lies. And as his success grew, um, it seems like his message kind of like, well, it, it changed. It was a lot less, um, how can I call it, aggressive, direct, political. Uh, it kind of give you an idea of what this conversation I'm finna play was all about. Rest in peace, neighborhood nip. I was, I don't know what the prefix of this conversation was because Puto just decided to turn the camera on on a random time. So he called us mid-conversation. But what you can gather is, I was saying something like, it was like in the movie Belly, like at some point, if you look, think about Ice-T and the cop killer movement, I got a record called These Weirdos where I say, uh, from cop killer to catch me on Fox every other night trying to lock another nigga in the box regarding Ice-T, because the image that he blew up on mainstream-wise was the exact opposite of what he has been positioned as the last 20 years and just ever since New Jack City, he been a cop and even such a subdued cop like on Law & Order. If there's like per episode, I'm just guessing 3,000 lines, he gets upon average 30 lines to add to that 3,000, he stands around. But it just seems like the power that be preferred his image to be a cop versus a cop killer. And then Ice Cube went from um, death certificate America's most, which the content was quite, whew, I'm not even finna do that and blow up the spot because it was a cold nigga. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Swing, 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 and chop, chop, chop. Now who's the, it's the nut? Color me bad, but you can't sex me up. Don't even try to put your, gonna, that nigga say, man, I can't help it. That nigga say, that nigga say, uh, I'm trying to kill him because he's trying to play me like a trick, but you see, I'm the wrong, the f with, I got the A to the, f and it's ready to rip, slap in that banana clip, and I'm looking, is he in Watts, Philly, Oakland, or Brooklyn, it seems like he got the whole country behind him, so it's kind of hard to find him, but when I do, gotta let my gap ring out, but 17th round make his brains hang out, cause that shit he did was uncalled for, try to fuck a nigga up that, it's like a small whore, and that shit ain't fly, so now I'm setting up the ultimate drive-by, and when I hear that shit, make the nigga say, damn, I want to kill Sam. Oh, my mama, my, 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 that shit is crazy, though. Know? But I was discussing with the homie how I think that at some point when you watch to the success, Ice Cube and Ice T both went, that there was some point where the system or they, the powers that be, explained to them where the message is going to have to be a little toned down if you want to keep progressing on these back seats. See, you dig a lies, and I believe... Like in Blue Laces too, the spirit of what I get from the spook by the door that Cube might have had to like, because you saw his like image in order to, but now <laughs> he back to letting them know what's going to crack if they don't do right by black. And I love the way he stepped back from that stack. That's more than just a few racks on oh, my mama, mama. That's real deep. You dig a lies. But with no further ado, I would love to play for you. Me and neighborhood nip right before he laid down. No blue on, on my mama mama. 
prophetic, like no, yeah, the riot yeah. shit. He called the riot. Yeah, it was shortly before too. Like, it was less than a year before their song. Yeah. Almost probably why they made him that they neutralized. They neutralized Ice T. Cause them niggas was on some political shit at one point and it was like popular. All right. It's only one way y'all gonna win. You ain't gonna be that yeah, way. I mean, you better you stop. The people that run the aquarium come get at you. What else you gonna do? So everybody ain't willing to drown. You want this Friday to work? Ain't all the mother ones out there? Yeah, we gonna make See, sure. I don't think it was that direct. I think he just <laughs> smelt the, the change in the air. Like, okay, yeah, he was smart enough to go with it. Yeah, he's like, I'm out of love. I gotta make you a decision. Know? I'm gonna go this way. Just like for real. Oh, my mama, mama. mama. See, he's still on the show. That's yeah. on my mama, mama, neighborhood nip, cuz that's the way he always directed a conversation. Like, you see how where I was going with it, he like, he got a more of a positive perspective, which is so prolific from my partner as I proceed the process on my mama, mama, of the prophet. He dig it eyes, but uh, he curved back. He like, no, nah, I don't really think it was that direct, and I tend to agree. I, I tend to think that, um, especially Cube, as we see as savvy and as sharp and as wise he has been, especially from the education we get from his experiences way back with the NWA situation to be the only one not to sign, to break away, and then to become the tycoon, the mogul, the Don Mega that he has become all the way down to the big three and other ventures with the films being on deck enough to walk away from nine million without a sweat. Um, it just goes to show uh, everybody ain't just bending over on oh, my mama, mama. And you can't always be as on to what you think you own to. It's like one thing you say about Q, he still got his Raider hat on, still got a t shirt on. Still got some khakis and five oh one five or some or some five oh ones and he don't got a lot of jewelry on which everybody know he could afford. And Cub being said a long time ago. I don't wear a lot of gold because it's tacky. I bust the Raider hat, T shirt and khaki. See a lot of hoes of freaky clothes a day. So I talk to him idiot kind of way. See a just need a nigga to coach him. So I grab smoothly approach him. I say hi in a friendly kind of pitch. If she ignore me, I say, yo, freak, bitch. Give up the number, hearty. We'll have a slumber party. See, I get it deaf, and then I dump the body. Cause I'm a nigga that's bigger than a crew or a gang. And when it comes to bitches, I'm only y'all for one thing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. That was uh, here with too short. Too short, say, uh, <laughs> No, but, 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 but check me out, though. Two M's on the way, yo. I'm finna burn it out today. Don't get mad. Get glad with VJ Keyway in the black box in the Google gang. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat I love this shit, but got this feeling in me I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me Ain't no feeling for me I'm about to tell me take the deal He told me all you fight is bodies But that's probably how they body everybody Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby He was cold up in them sports, but he got sloppy Just the way the life go Y'all believe in the streets, seen a lot of grief A lot of Keith and Kush stuff in the grab believe Chains, watches, rings it's nothing to kings, back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans. Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours. The final room lounges, smoking cigars. Purchasing properties, opening bars. So it looks in life, put tattoos over the scars. Scrolls and burgo retainer, explain how it looked for real. It's the kind of bad. Lil homie took the deal, $100 sticks. Cognac and Cubans at all costs. Be about your money is the movement. Either in a black box, making a review about an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view. Cop and blow with hoes, we don't wife those Zeros and commas, that's I saw so much though. shit in these streets Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat I love this shit, but got this feeling in me I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me Ain't no feeling for me My brother told me take the deal He told me all you fight is bodies But that's probably how they body everybody Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby He was 
Sports, really got sloppy, bitch. I told that nigga take a deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel. Riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat. Sagging through the swap meet. Banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand. This shit to the death. I can have a million dollars. Still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smirk. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirt My niggas tired of taking ill. I know that shit wrong. Got my dead homies looking down on me like a drone. Hopping out of porn whips. Politicking with the crew. All in traffic with the homies, knocking down a field. Niggas chasing car, we chase down enemies. Uh, niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off their hennies. Yeah. That's just the way this life goes. The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold. That's all my soul. I saw my shit in these streets. Went back to jail for like that shit on repeat. Like the way life goes, blue. Smurf featuring SPI, just J. Who throw on the beat? Deal. Bodies. But this probably how they body, everybody. That's crazy, yo, my mama, my mama, when they say, it be, yo, kid, be careful, your kid's gonna grow up and deal with somebody just like you, right? The just like you is not quite just, but that's just Jay on the hook, that's my son-in-law, got a lot of legal problems, young family, trying to make music, trying to keep his sanity, I just see the parallels. It's deep, it's crazy. Like, I don't know if there's a direct connection. But just because that's such a cliche saying, I can't help but notice you dig a lot. And um, I saw a video. This, um, the boy Henry Ruggs for the Raiders in trouble. It's all bad. Cause I, seen the I seen the video first. I don't know how social media works. I seen a video on Instagram, right? And I know some of y'all seen it because it's like a car. And it's like as soon as an accident happened, it's like one, two, three people in the car, two in the front, one in the back. The person, the driver, and the person in the back, totally not responsive. But it seems like the seconds after the incident, and then the passengers, like, seemingly, like, fighting real hard to keep any sense of consciousness. And it's a real crispy, clear, 4K HD video of an immediate situation and I saw it I'm like damn and then it's like some that's I, I me personally I ain't watching it I ain't watched the whole video once I seen how that was I seen another lot but I got to thinking it's something that I, I got a lot of young drivers in my family uh three children between the ages of 15 and 21 I think they just can handle whatever 21 year olds been through some incidents 18 year old been through some incidents as far as traffic um incidents quite a few don't even want to mention my son-in-law how many incidents but my 15 year old is yet to actually have any well he been driving i think he had a little scrapity bumpity but nothing that's real scary or dangerous but uh right i, I don't know what it is as soon as i see the video i go like let me send this to them so they can just see how serious it is can't find it First, one of my homies, like, his daughter just had an accident. He got, like, a brand new range. He letting her drive it. She done drove it a million times back and forth to school by herself. He let her drive it. God bless. She's okay. Let her drive it with somebody else to the football game, the school game. Told her it out. Bam. They okay, though. So he hit me. was like, hey, low. Cause I had sent the video to a, my Google game chat, and, um, uh, on IG, but I, like I guess when he went to go get it to try to show it to her, he like, I want to scare, try to scare my daughter, man, you got that video, it had disappeared. So I had seen it on Facebook, I went to go try to find it there, it had disappeared. So I don't know why I get the opportunity to see it, it's sitting there long enough for me to see it, it had thousands of views, but when I try to go show it, it's gone. But then I saw the video, it reminded me, because so shortly after the boy rugs, such a promising future, they, they finna, they finna, they got footage of like right after, and it's just crazy to me how the headlines say he had a DUI accident. It don't say a woman was killed. It say a white woman was killed. Bro, do you know what it means in America for a black man to be accused of killing a white woman, and they already got some of that tragic right after the incident footage online they already calling it dui 
man, Cuz gonna need a hearse or nurse or whatever comes first because they're going to try to put him under the dirt or worse. They're going to throw the whole kitchen sink and whatever else they could think. I mean, it's no plea deal. No need to write no ink. It's going to shoot him away. He, they might offer him a deal, but it's going to definitely be a dub. A white woman. That's the headline. Not Raiders player, blah, 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 DUI kills a woman, but kills a white woman. If it's not necessary or if it's not indicative of the intensity of how he's going to be dealt with through the proceedings, throughout the proceedings, then why is it so important to mention the fact that she's white? I remember we was looking at a video of where these kids was getting, um, see, I call them kids because that's what the police is calling them but where they was having a shootout. Matter of fact, it was far from a shootout. They were getting shot at by some young people who broke away from a group home, broke into a house, utilized because they had heard about the amount of weapons that was in there and started a whole shootout with the police. And the way the police was referring to them on the walkie-talkies, oops. The way the police was referring to them on the walkie-talkies is crazy, man. And now here it is. The most important thing I would imagine about the story is NFL star DUI death, female, if you want to throw that in. But you better believe, you best believe it was white female. Why y'all think that is? You dig it lies. Why it couldn't just be female dead? I'm so curious, not quite furious. I'm just saying, I know his life was luxurious. And now, well, he's going to sit in the cell and have to think about it all while he's waiting in jail. Kind of like OJ. Hope he okay. His real might pop out like Bill when he get that appeal. I know how you feel. Know how hard it is for an athlete to sit still. Used to running and jumping, getting big cash. Now you got to keep you in the stash. Just for safety, he probably plays safety. I hope he moves safely. <laughs> my mama, my mama, I'm just saying, though, I'm not definitely not laughing at him. I was really just like kind of tickled at the flow. You know, I just came and trickled out the door. Uh huh, VJ Keyway in the black box. Yeah, it's a burnout today. You know how we usually do, but we on some promo. Don't get mad. The way life goes, you dig a lot. I'm so much shit in the streets. Went back to jail for like that shit on repeat. I love the shit, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. I'm about to tell me, take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby He was cold up in them sports, but it got sloppy That's the way the life goes Y'all believe in the streets, seen a lot of grief A lot of Keith and Kush stuff in the grab believe Chains, watches, rings, it's nothing to kings Back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours The final room lounges, smoking cigars Purchasing properties, opening bars To lips in life, put tattoos over the scars Scrolls and verbal retainer, explain how it looked for real It's the kind of bad, little homie took the deal Hundred dollar sticks, Cognac and Cubans at all costs Be about your money is the movement Either in a black box, making a review About an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view Cop and blow with hoes, we don't wife those Zeros and commas, that's I'm how I'm so life much shit in the streets Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat I love this shit, but got this feeling in me I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me Ain't no feeling for me My brother told me take the deal He told me all you fight is bodies But that's probably how they body everybody Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby He was caught up
up in them sports, but they got sloppy bitch. I told that nigga take the deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel, riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat, sagging through the swap meet, banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand, this shit to the death. I can have a million dollars, still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smirk. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirts My niggas tired of taking ill. I know that shit wrong. Got my dead homies looking down on me like a drone. Hopping out of foreign whips, politicking with the crips, all in traffic with the homies. Knocking down a fear. Niggas chasing clout, we chase down enemies. Uh, niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off that Hennessy. Yeah. That's just the way this life goes. The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold. That's on my soul. I'm so much shit in these streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the streets, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feelings in me. My brother told me to take the deal. He told me all you fight is body. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't eat it live. He was caught up in them sports, but he got sloppy. Just the way the life goes. Hey, the youngster in there humming on that light. He like, mm hmm, mm hmm. And Puto put the tweak on it. You dig a lies. This is V's. You and me in the black box. What it do not, my not. What's up, your mind? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone in the Google gang. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, um, gee, I know you're blessed over there, ain't you? Gita, Gita, Gita. Gratitude is the attitude, man. I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at dude. You dig a lies. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I got a little treat for you, you know. I'm finna pull a little uh, nickels. I'm, I'm pulling some uh, nickels to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I had me a thing going on that past couple of days. All uh, right, you know what I'm saying? Hustle like Honcho and Freeway. My knees is enormous. Riding dirty with a pistol. Some weed and some warrants on the run. The most wanted by the gang detail. Hitting licks and laying up with the same female. I don't trust that bitch. She got too much ass. I let her live, though. We didn't touch too much cash. Too much She hit me late night. You know, I might not answer. And I'm sprung on these cigarettes. I might got cancer. Cancer. Ooh, Gina. That's all I can yeah, say is yeah, Jeter. Yeah. Yeah, That's okay. all I can say is Jeter <laughs> on my mama, mama, man. Yeah, ain't nothing like that. That's a throwback. I can't even tell you the title, but I know that come out my soul. That there, right there, on just my mama, day mama. In LA. And, oh, just another day. In LA, oh, and just look, look at Buck Jimmy. That liquid, as hard as that hook is, <laughs> cause as hard as that hook is, bro. As hard as that hook, hook is. Look who the. F I had, like, we, it's me, it's me and Smurf, we in New York, and when Smurf, when Smurf first did that verse, cause, like, the, 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 the verse y'all got ain't the original take, the original take made everybody in the studio get so many chills, cause, like, niggas don't realize, Smurf was on way before me, rest in peace, Terry Carter, as far as just having deals and getting, getting checks and being around rappers, being around Ice Cube, Mac yeah. 10, a whole lot of people way back. Yeah. And then for us to be in New York doing what we was doing, and me and our own little shit, because he a dirtbag, we talk shit constantly. So for it to go how it go, when he came yeah. in the booth saying what he was saying, it just, he was saying it like, man. And then the engineer, you know, it was like, you know, do it again, do it again. And I'm like, fuck that, go back to the first one. So y'all got a, a version of it, but I wish we would have had that very, very first. That nigga pauses was so cold. That nigga had that shit in the pocket. He just, we we tried to get him right back there. He couldn't get right back there. But yeah, that shit, this nigga Buck Jenner. This nigga tomorrow, just another day in the LA. Rag on my face, clip in the AK. <laughs> we should have seen it coming, Vicious V. Oh, man. Now, you know, like I said, it's been a running thing on mine lately. And like I said before, you know, the reason I relate so much to your music and, you know, not because of a, a, a particular lifestyle, but like the lyrics, you know, things ain't going my way, but it's just another, another day in L.A. It's similar to like how things is going before in my personal life out here when I was in Covington, Tennessee. But since I done relocated and moved up, you know, now I'm stomping in some big black boots on some bigger shit. You feel me? Hey, how close is Covington to Nashville? Covington to Nashville about four and a half hours. Oh, four so, and a half hours. Oh, y'all got some landscape to cover before you out of Tennessee. Tennessee ain't no tiny place. 
I've been in Nashville well, to dwell, and I used to go back right. and forth from Nashville to Chattanooga. Frank Nitty, if you right, alive right. and thriving, man, holla at your boy, man. Frank Nitty used to run me through there back in 94. My boy Nitty, Frank Nitty. Yeah. I'll tell y'all that story one day on my mama yeah. mom. Yeah. I know you used to run through uh, Huntsville as well. It's funny about Huntsville. You know, I used to live out in Huntsville a long time ago, back from 99 to 2000. Oh, uh, yeah. I lived on, um, yeah, I lived in an apartment complex with my parents. We was at Candlewood Apartments on Julia Street. I remember the Candlewood. I went Candlewoods. to elementary school. Yup, yup. I stayed out on Julia Street out there, yup. I went to University Place Elementary School. I, I, thought, you was school gonna, I thought you was going to say University Drive. That's what I thought. Every th everybody says yeah, something yeah, like Yeah, it's on it's on University Drive. See? Mm -hmm. I figured that. Oh. And that's why oh, yeah. and that's when nigga first got hip to Crystal Brothers, TJI Fridays, and what else was out there yeah. back then? Uh I used to go to the uh the armory uh, party at the armory. Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, go yeah. Up to, go up to the rock quarry and shoot guns. I hey, they had an old uh, cinnamon shop out there on the. Uh, it was on Jordan Lane, off of uh, Jordan, Lane, Jordan Lane. That's another. Uh, hey, Jordan Lane. That's another Huntsville yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah, that's another yeah. Huntsville. See, in Huntsville, y'all gotta understand. You got Oakwood College. You got uh, yeah. Alabama A and M, and you got the University of mm -hmm. Alabama Huntsville UAH, plus another variety mm -hmm. of junior colleges. So, because of that, mm -hmm. subsequently. There is a community of just like apartments and apartments and apartments. Just it's just a whole. Yo, you've never yo, seen a yeah. town. How how big is Huntsville? Huntsville is, is pretty big. I believe the pop. Mm, let me not even. Uh, let me not even try to take it again. I, I need to keep it to Google over here. But I, I know it's huge though. Cause uh, I got an older sister. She still lives out there. She's been out there since two thousand. She done graduated from Calhoun Community College, Athens State University. And uh, she's down near town out there. She used to be the assistant director tell of Logical. Her, tell her tap, hey, tell her tap, hey, tell her tap your boy in with old Melody, man. I would need a line on Melody, a direct regular. I don't uh, know. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk yeah, about that. You know, she, she, all, uh, she basically running with the deans over all the colleges in Alabama. Oh, That's yeah. She, she, got, right hey, she got the tappery, man. She need to tap your boy on in. Hey, somebody named American Negro say Frank Nitty is my guy. You ain't from Nashville. <laughs> you from Nashville? You ain't talking about the Frank Nitty I'm talking about. Dark skin, slim. He was know. slim back then. Had a big ass fro, like in 94. Oh, my mama, mama. 805. Hey, we got a nickel bags on the line, and we got a, a, a 812. I got to be Blue Jay. Well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead. Go ahead and do y'all thing. I got to get back to work. I had to just tap in real quick with y'all. You know, show some love to the Google game. Hey, y'all, please like and subscribe to the most easy. Please like do. Like and subscribe. You Pre feel? Appreciate yeah. you, Vicious V, on my mama, mama. Of course. Cheetah. 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 Nickel bags, blue Real jack. Real nigga radio. Real nigga radio. All the time. What it do not, little ones. What's up, man? What's up, nigga? Blue, blue jay? Yes, blue jay yeah, and nickels. Blue, 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 blue. Hey, hey, she gonna say okay. you can catch. She gonna say you can catch Melody on her live. Man, what do I look like going to somebody live? You know me better than that, Shaniqua. You should know better than that. Don't even suggest no BS like that to BS. That's BS. Ask BS. <laughs> Oh my, 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 my. <laughs> What's up, my niggas? Blue Jay, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll let you clean it up. Get the bad and the clean up bowl. So real quick, it's for my boy James Hudson because he's always requesting it in the in the power chat, and I'm always I'm always shouting it out. But you got all this new music now, but hey, all the S's with the extras if it's necessary. Quick and tuck the nickels, cause extra skip. Crime pays, ninety seven ways. Made you play seven one seven trades. My side of Riverside. I'm gonna have a heater, team University, and have a line of Alameda. Head on a swivel, read between the lines. Last time you see the candy paint clean, clean his mind. mind. Never. Never. Fuck what you heard on the internet. Besides the buses, a little third in a set. Been a vet, kill a dog. It was all a game. Name hang on the wall in the game bang, bang Hall of Fame. fame. Uh, on E. Crippin' since free basin. Wasting anything to catch slipping in the G station. <laughs> hating. Real close is all love neighborhood block for deaf dogs. I'm from all love. love. Neighborhood, my low good looking to it. Hey, <laughs> Nichols. That, hey, whoever, hey, call my mama, mama, call whoever wrote said that. It's hard. 
That shit hard. That nigga sound like that nigga spy SBI wrote hey, that. I'm that nigga number one fan. What it do, Blue J? It's Peter Lowe. We on Real Nigga Radio. What it do not? Jermaine King, what neighborhood to the up? neighborhood. The 90s, the 90s like, huh? For death, though. Hey, that's my <laughs> low, cuz. Y'all don't know, cuz. That's one nigga right there, cuz. Hey, hey, can you, you know night and day, right? So, from childhood to being a nigga that's like 12 years old, coming home with keys to a BMW around the corner, somebody found the keys in the bushes, to being a nigga that is big brother, like four or five years older than him, don't want to fight, because when you turn around, it's going to be a big ass glass or iron or something to the back of your head, to being to a nigga that ended up on America's Most Wanted, hiding in the car, after a big old, some bullets got shot at helicopters, robbery gone bad, running, ducking. And look, you know how they block off a neighborhood and the police get on foot and uh, like canvas go from house to house? Just imagine you being a nigga that ducked in the perfect little car in the, in the driveway. The police already cleared you. They passed you. They finna go on through the neighborhood, clear the neighborhood. You finna wait to the go to sleep at night and then get out and boom. Just so happened, the lady at that house get in the car with her daughter and get in for the leave and the daughter get in the back seat and get to scream because while the police had just passed them though, they already cleared the area. And my nigga ended up doing, mm -hmm. he ended up doing down there a dub. He was only like 16 when he caught the case. So when you say night and day, now, he is a gainfully employed almost for, it's been about 10 years, I believe. It might be off, maybe a little more, a little less. But he started a family. Um, he's thriving, doing very well, very mild-mannered. The average person who encounters him will have no idea of his history or his past unless he chose to share it. And I'm just so proud of his transition and his progress and him morphing into being who he is now, but that's when you see Jermaine King in the in the chat room. That's my little cousin, baby cowboy, rolling nineties neighborhood crib on my mama mama. But he's way far transcended being that, cause don't even live in the state no more after he came home, and he just been doing very well. So I'm proud of you, cuzzo, on my mama mama. I'm proud of him too. I'm gonna give a shout out to Big Miz. Um, I just wanted. To did part of my testimony. Uh, went to school, went back to school right before the pandemic. Graduated, started a, a CMOS business. Well, I sell CMOS and this uh, chocolate mushroom. And then I be doing music. And I'll start doing music. I Therapy. heard about CMOS, but I ain't but never I heard of chocolate mushroom. Yeah, chocolate mushroom. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 like the. It's it's like the king mushroom. It's like it, it don't get no better than that because all the. The constituents, all the properties it, it holds within it, all the healing properties and and things that can help your body. Yes, C H A G A, chaga, and then it's like then right after that it's like reishi, then it's shiitake and all the other mushrooms. But chaga is the is the um, the king mushroom. And I make an extract out of it, a door extract. I take the tea and the alcohol, and combine them. They call it the dual extraction. So I got the sea moss, and I got the chaga. Then I do music. I got a 17-year-old son, man. I taught him to study uh, Armius. And, uh, man, when you hear him, cuz, you're going you gonna to be like, man, you can tell he's been, you know, he already already had it in him. But I'm saying, like, you know, it's good to study people. It's, it's good to, 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 to see something in somebody. That sounds like, you that sound like uh, Jelly Joe Bean told Kobe to study Jordan. They say as Kobe was growing up, uh, his father would videotape every single last game Jordan ever played and make Kobe watch him. And once he got through them all, he'd make him start from the beginning and watch them all over again. And then, so mm. that's what that reminded me of when you say that. Yeah, so so you know what I'm saying. So I just want y'all to be looking out for some great things. And uh, and, it, and it's good to announce this on, on, on the Homeboy uh, Baby Spider show. You know what I mean? The Black Box. When we keep it a Google, and it's gratitude is the attitude station, you know, where people need to grow up, you know, I mean, wake up and be grateful uh, uh, of things because 
a lot of things is going on in real time and it's just hard to keep up with but what you can keep up with is being grateful and to her, to whomever you serve and whatever name you, you call him be thankful to that to your creator be thankful to who you believe in and, and be just just be you know keep your head up and keep pushing in line it's gonna make you successful and take care of your family and uh out of, out of some wise words from the great baby spy keep it a google Oh, keep it the Google. Let's keep it the Google. Trade, <laughs> trade legend. Google gang, 310, you on the phone with VJ Keyway, man. We in the black box, waking bacon. You already know how I do. What is on your mind, though, like? Yeah, it's better luck, What's up, bro? Your, your boy, Tragedy. From Damn, Tragedy. man, Tragedy, yeah. It was, it was a real, real nigga radio session. Only person missing was her. We got Vicious V. Yeah, but hey, Blue. I don't... I don't be tapping in. Don't mean I don't be listening and shit. I be checking your shit out. So Say you, you be coming up, uh, doing doing the live a little too early sometimes, man. Yeah, I'll be, hey, my, hey, man, you know where I'm at with it, bro. So, you know, I'm trying to get it in when I can. I ain't been around in a minute as it is based on, you yeah. know, what I got my mind, my eyes, and my face on, getting my chase on. You dig a lot. I'm just That's saying, right. though. I'll be right. trying to get it all in, though. Yeah, man, by the way, yeah, I wanted to tap in too because I know, you, you know, you, you gave it up for the army, you know, for my brother's shit. Rest in peace. I'm going to take the OYG Red Rum 781 from that APG. Okay, on oh, my mama, mama. Yeah, he was a real humble dude, man. Shout out to Red Rum once yeah, again. He, Rest he, in he, peace. He, he always spoke. He, he always spoke real highly of you. Mm. You know what I mean? So always spoke real highly of you. And one thing that um, if if, if your choice, if you want to elaborate, but uh, one thing that uh, he always, because every so often you ask me, you talk, you talk to Spider, I haven't checked in, I haven't tapped into his podcast, <clears throat> and he was like, "Hey, tell tell," he's like, "Ask Cuzzo about Vegas," and he'll start laughing. Like just I, I just asked Cuzzo about Vegas, and that was always that was always the thing. Like ask Cuzzo about Vegas. Damn. And I mean, he kind of he told me a little bit about it, but I mean, if you uh if you want to speak on it, I mean that's not you, but he's always tell me like with a, with a smile on his face. Hey, ask ask Cuzzo about Vegas. I couldn't. You gonna have to uh trigger my brain. Like when I I don't know I don't remember what he could be talking about. I don't uh, a gentleman by the name of Jamar Stamps is no longer with us either. No, I don't know. Uh-uh. The situation with Bad Oh, Bad Jamal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, hey, God, God bless the dad. That's God crazy. Dad, so, me, but, you yeah. telling me yeah. Red Rum used to always ask you to, for me to say, tell you about Vegas. It, nah, it, it, it got crazy in Vegas, man. He already did the details. No, I know he knew, I but I'm just saying that was his that, that was his little thing. Oh, so he was there, huh? Yeah. See, all right, what well, basically in Vegas what took place was rest in peace to uh Red Rum, rest in peace to Badass. Without going into it, right. remember I told you he was corrupt cousin. That's why I always used to be around him with. It was one point yeah. I had a personal bone to pick with Badass because I was going to utilize the opportunity. I, I was going to utilize this opportunity to pick this bone with Badass. But I remember Corrupt pulling me to the side, being aware that I was going to get on cuz. And he was like, uh, Spotted, please don't do bad. Not, not tonight here. Badass was potted up, walking around. Zzz, he was on one. And he had did some bullshit. Because, uh, I ain't gonna even go into the background of the bullshit, but he had did some bullshit, and this was my time. Me and another nigga who we both was on the, he had did the bullshit to, we had, had both said, because whoever see him first, we gonna knock him out. That was just what we had, had been a long I, I, time. I, I remember the, I remember the details. All right, so we bumped in the cuz in the parking lot in Vegas, we're in the, in, the, in the club, we in the parking lot now, it's over type shit. I'm finna get on cuz, but then corrupt get in my ear and like, spot it, please don't get bad. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give him a pass. It's like, I was sitting on the bench. Badass was on my left hand side. I'm on that like 10, 9, 8, 7 type shit in my head. Finna just like, yeah. <laughs> and then like, Krupp came, <laughs> sat down like the spider that sat down by Spider and put his arm around my shoulder. It was like, please don't. Got in my ear. And I just felt him like, all right, I ain't gonna do cuz. But then, as we were still in the yeah. parking lot politicking, next thing I know, Shug called me over and he like having words with Badass. So, yeah. When I come over, not because if had had I not already had my own issue with Cuz and Cuz called me over, I would have been more ears and like came to see what was going on when I got over there. 
and like you know went right. went more for self. But just being at that, I was already on Cuz, and then Cuz called me over and there was tension. I forget exactly whatever Cuz was saying, but he was piled up. So just imagine badass and then Suge. Then like I know Cuz fresh out on parole, so it's like when Cuz when I walked over, Cuz was being like he was being less than cooperative. So I go, I get off on right. Cuz. You know what's funny about that night though is when I get off on Cuz, I like. When I hit Cuz, it like go from Cuz and hit like uh, Suge, main security. If I remember his name, like it was Marquez. <laughs> and I remember when I fought on Mark, 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 I probably hit Marquez. I hit him like, not that I came from here on Badass, he kind of short. And then the security was standing behind Cuz next to Suge, and I kind of like came up and caught Cuz. He might have bit his tongue and all that. But Cuz got hot and grabbed, yeah. he grabbed, this is my boy though. He got hot and grabbed my shirt and all that. We tussled and all that. I remember when I got to Suge room the next morning, he like apologized to me because they had to like get him off. <laughs> he was hot. I shocked yeah. him. He wasn't expecting that. But uh, then as after I took flight, rest in peace, God bless the dead, red rum, and yeah. bad, badass head, um, the, I was with all red rags. And I, now you're telling me that red right. rum was there. When I took flight, yeah. everybody we was with just followed suit, and he got punched on pretty right. bad in that parking lot. But I think yeah. I redeemed myself throughout the process because shortly thereafter, one of my homies, I ain't gonna say his name, I, I thought, I have, never mind what to say his name, but as they was punching on him, he was like trying to find an exit out the parking lot. He was like a pinball in a pinball machine. Everywhere yeah. he ran, he was getting <laughs> bop, bop, back to somebody else. They would just boop bop him. But that powder had him just right. that powder had him just bouncing off of everything. And then I looked up. Exactly. I looked, he wasn't really feeling much. He, right. wasn't, feel, he wasn't feeling it. And one I like when I looked right. up and one of the homies had him in the parking lot with a burner in his stomach clenched over, like looking at me for the approval, like and I just guess what I was like, No, no, no. <laughs> I saved cuz life. I might have set it off, but I saved cuz life. So Everything from right. that moment back in the early 2000s up until he passed a few years ago, I played a part in providing because it was over. I didn't know if the nigga that had him like that, it was a rap. Like all I, if I was like, hell yeah, it was a boop, boop, boop. That's it. In the gut, like up right, yeah, close range. Just, but God, simple little, just simple little nod. Or yeah, little but, been done that. yeah, I told that story for uh, Red Rum since he told you before he passed on my mama, mama. You dig a yeah. lot. Hey, yeah, he was, he was one of the main ones. He, he was one of the main ones that guess were, you know, putting hands and feet on the homie or whatever. Um, you know, God bless the dad, though. I mean, I don't want to bat on nobody, but it, hey, facts are facts. Yeah, it was, hey, yeah, look, but, I uh, believe because... Red Rum, Red Rum was def definitely like a big, uh, a big brother to me, man. Like, he was like a, you know, he lost, he, he had some health issues that just got worse and worse. And, um, you know, Fuck it, unfortunately, the health issues just got, you know, just, you know, he just couldn't do it no more. You know, his body came out. He passed away Saturday morning. You know what I mean? I got the phone call early in the morning and... I fucked up my whole weekend and shit, but the only thing that I'm grateful is that, you know, it's the most high, it's the homie, it's no longer in pain anymore, you know what I mean? Bro, it's like, you know? when you say stuff like that, these announcements, have, these announcements have become such a common part of life, it's like, you can't help but reflect on, you know, what's ahead often, more often than you did, especially yeah. as a child. I just often wonder, right. like, the, the black, the, like, you know how you look at it, zoop, it's over with. I just, I wonder, right. like, is the consciousness all the way over with? It's like, it, I just wonder. Just when you said that, it's like, damn, is it just over, like, over, like, like, like over, like, or is it something else? Or, like, right. I sure really hope it ain't no burning in hell and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, my mama. <laughs> hey, I hope, hey, cuz, I can't, man, yeah, I, I hope that's, I hope, man, that, hey, for the end, that's fucked up, bro. Just think about this. Yeah. The, the books say, look, the books say the creator love you more than you love your kids, right? Could you imagine creating a big ass amusement park, which we'll call the world, for your child? Right. And then filling it with all right. type of things that they are not supposed to indulge <clears throat> in. And then tell them, you made in a sinful image and you better figure out how to stay away from all this or I'm gonna burn you in some fire. I would never do that to my kids, bro. I wouldn't do that. So how is that a better love than I love my kids? Right. That's some bullshit. Yeah, 
a lot of stuff under is kind of predictable. You know what I mean? I do. I, you know, I, I feel exactly what you're saying. I feel exactly man, what you're saying. Man, hey, humans made that hell shit up, cause God ain't made. Ain't no God, especially not no God that's no loving God made up. I'ma burn you in hell. I can see it that book shit. Right. If you rape or mess with kids, we gonna burn you in hell. Yeah. If you murder somebody innocent yeah. that don't, we gonna burn you in hell. If it don't just say that specifically, get the fuck out of here. They say one sin ain't no worse than the other. Murder, lie, the same. So everybody right. go to hell. We might as well go ahead and murder up. Eight one eight six one four. What it do, my not? Can you turn that music down? What it do? Can you turn that? You like you you bumping some. You must be bumping some of that old school Crippin' Blood for Red Run. No, that's that badass Snoop Dogg, that uh, Dark Pound Gang. Oh, that was yeah, tragedy, that was, okay. Yeah, that would be, be, be putting it down. I, I was just uh, yeah. reminisce, what, listening to the car, rip, or reminisce on that. That wasn't that, that, uh, that wasn't that. All that shit, I don't know. want nobody. That right there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit's yeah. so hard, cuz. Yeah. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, um, um, uh, Spider Loki, right now I'm, uh, I'm still at work right now. I just knock out the love to tap in real quick. Hey, but uh, one thing that I wanted to, you know, a lot, a lot of people on the on the chat box, you know, they are, uh, you know, on the chat box, they 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 know who Red Rum is. And one thing I want to say about, you know, about our brother Red Rum, you know, because for one, he was one of the most humblest persons in the world. That if he could help you in any way possible, he will. He would stand that olive branch, you know, try to help you any any possible way. But at the end of the day, you know, what I mean, like a lot of people didn't bother to ever try to help him out. You know, what I mean, so everything he did was independent. He should have been on the level as DJ Quick as a corrupt right now, but. You know, I guess it was a different politics. You know, different people don't understand plan, 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 politics. Yeah. Politics don't yeah. people don't understand how much of a, a part politics play in said person's yeah. uh, pursuit of progress in this, uh, you know, paganistic in environment. So, you know, it is what it is. Right. We want to celebrate yeah, life, yeah. and you know, we want to yeah. give great, yeah. give gratitude for what he did enjoy. Because I don't believe right. outside of his pain. And his his journey to his um his rest, I don't believe he was a miserable yeah. individual. I believe he yeah. was happy and he enjoyed what was, and you right. know he was an individual. Yeah, so one, of thing, honor. one thing I definitely wanna I wanna I wanna address real quick, you know, before I get off the phone, is everybody that uh um, that knows who Bos Bosco One Hundred is. Everybody knows he's a fucking comedian, fucking clown, whatever the hell he wants to be. If there was no rare run, there will be no fucking Bosco. You know, because at the end of the day, tragedy the boss, motherfucking bandana, bandana the rag, and red run seven eight one. We made Bosco. You know what I mean? We made we made that man. We saved his life when uh. Your bad. What I, what I say, it's, it's Y'all bad. It's public record. It, 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 Y'all bad. It's all, it's all over YouTube. Y'all yeah, bad. Like, Y'all bad. Yeah. Y'all bad. And uh. Um, you carry that. The. the yeah, they, 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 this man shit, it's, it's on YouTube. If you go and look, dig up all that, that dude K9 that he was trying to be from Dead Road, trying to diss everybody, trying to get some clout. He spoke on it on it before, you know, about that little issue where Compton Menace almost got uh, got uh, almost got the homies killed in Avalon Gardens. That's us. Who he was speaking about. He was speaking about me, Bandana, Red Run, and Bosco. Because Menace tried to be a super super pyro, try to trip a homie from uh, from Avalon Gardens, talking about. Why y'all niggas gotta bang on the homies? Y'all come to my hood all the time. My niggas don't bang on y'all the homies from Avalon Gardens. So nigga, shut the fuck up. This my little bitch ass nigga. And I ain't hey, having the kids. And y'all was y'all was in y'all was y'all was, was in the Avalon Gardens. We was in the Avalon Gardens. I know that shit line. didn't feel it's right. Like, them little bitty tiny yeah, mother. I know that shit didn't feel uh, right at all. Them little bitty yeah, man. Yeah, 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 Avalon yeah, Gardens. Yeah, so. uh. yeah, let me let me elaborate because that's the reason why you know everything led up led up to that to that to that moment. Because we had actually did a video, I, I really can't remember the name of the of the gentleman, but we did the video right there on the and uh, Ace and Broadway at this uh, motorcycle club, and the 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 dude that we I think his name was G Bat, and the dude from my line was Pyro, and it was featuring Menace, and Menace called up Bandana, and Bandana called up me like, hey y'all, uh, hey, we gonna pick up the homies, we gonna go up to the to the video shoot. I said cool, <clears throat> we go up to the video shoot, it's a success, man, nobody tripping, it's a, it's more of a motorcycle video shoot than a, than a gangbang video shoot. And uh, XO, they used to be part of Whack Wall Street, called up Menace talking about, hey, I'm doing a video shoot over here on, uh, in the Avalon Garden with that fucking punk G Magic. And uh, that he gave him the golden pass. Hey, it's all good. And niggas ain't tripping. You can bring the Red Rag. We, we good. We good. We good. Oh, all right, me, and ben, me and Red Worm were the main ones that were like, nah, I don't know about all that. You know what I mean? This motherfucker's got like, too much fucking Red to be going in the motherfucking Avalon Garden. 
And uh, bam, man, it's like, nah, y'all, 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 y'all good, homie, y'all good. You know, G Magic said it's cool. G Magic said it's cool. Homie, that happened to be from Nine Hood, that um, one of the one of the dudes in the background, he fucking elbows me on the fucking side, and says, G Magic ain't nobody. Don't listen to him. Don't go up to G Magic. Ain't shit. He can't save. You. He can't save y'all. Long story short, we ended up, you know, fuck it, let's go. We'll go for a little bit. You know what I mean? We pull as soon as we pull into the Avalon, the Avalon Gardens. And Spider, I don't have to tell you much. You already know you're familiar with that area. I'm, I'm sh- yo. Yeah, you in there, you better know. <laughs> so where you going? Ain't no, yeah. As soon as we drive in that motherfucking, it's like, Jesus Christ. I told Ron, like, dude, like, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and Ron was like, nigga, if you gonna get out, then we gotta get out now because it's a one way in, one way out. But by then, all the cars behind us were already, like, kind of pushing us in. So there was no way out no more. Like, we in this bitch already. So as soon as, as soon as we go in, this dude from Avalon, you know, I, he was a young dude, but you could tell he was with the, all, all the foolishness. Well, you, you have, uh, Spider, you, have, you remember them, them you ever had, back in the days, they had the bandana print on them? Mm-hmm. He had, he had one of those, one of those Atlanta ones on, and on the side of it, he had every single enemigo whacked out. You know what I mean? Without going into detail. Who yeah, was, fully turned, yeah, fully turned up. Down. Fully, fully with all the yeah, shit. Yeah, he had, he had a blue... He had a blue dicky shirt with a with a royal blue bandana stitched to the back. Uh, all the enemies whacked out. This dude was tripping. As soon as we got out the car, the dudes kind of focused on me more and shit because I guess the, the day prior, um, this neighborhood out there, I guess the Carnales or whatever, had did something to one of their homies. Mm. So they was turned up already. So as soon as they see me get out the van, motherfuckers walk straight to me. Like, forget mm. the red rags. You know, I want to this <laughs> You know what I mean? So they made their way to me. I we need to home. film this. It's, it's an episode. Hey, hey, it's an up. episode of something we need to film. This shit, you know, I'm listening, man. It's a war story. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So the dudes came straight to me. There was like about six or seven of them. And the main dude was like, this is the guy. This is the one right here that I keep my fucking eye on. You know, and I had the little thing thing on me. I had the fucking Glock 20, 20 on. The Glock 20 on me and shit with fucking seven bullets, pathetically, but this is reality. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the dude, they know they banging on me and shit. Look, I'm from Eastside Torrance. Make sure to show the tattoos off. I was like, I'm from the Harborary. I'm from, I'm from out of Eastside Torrance. <laughs> they go, yeah, yeah. So what you up here for? I'm, like, I'm here for the photo shoot, for the video shoot. Like, all right, for show. And that's what he said. They call me so and so, whatever, whatever. But um, shake, shake my hand. He walks you red rug. Oh, I know you, homie. You from, you from, you from, you from Paru. You was like, yeah, I'm from Avenue Paru. All right, homie, walking to the hood. It's my hood. Same thing with bandana. Walked up to fucking um, Bam Bosco. Bosco got some black chucks on with the red laces. This motherfucker straight up fucking bows down. I was talking about from Queens, but I ain't but I'm from Queens Street, but I ain't got but I ain't, I ain't got no color line. My he didn't say he didn't know what he didn't say that. He didn't say that. I on my daughter's life, on my daughter's soul. This dude said I ain't got no color line. The dude from Avalon looked at his fucking hand and said, fucking just walks away from him. Like I ain't shaking your fucking hand because you the buzzer. You come on, tragedy you know I mean? curve. And, uh, Hey, don't be making that up just because you fuck with me and he's such now, a... I know, that don't sound Never. like for real, like Never. Really, for real, homie. Never. No, I know, hey, tragedy Never. ain't making Never. it up. He ain't I making got, it up. I ain't got no reason why to lie on that man, but I'm, I'm right. just speaking facts. Yeah, Back go ahead. Facts go ahead, go ahead, yeah, I'm we listening. Could, we could get my bad Bosco. Bosco got my number. He knows exactly where I live. We supposed to be homies for the longest time and shit. I took him to all his first boy video shoots. When he did that, when he did that video, this and forty Glock, that that's how he got his the smartest, like his beginning, you know, into the fucking rap game. I'm all over that video shoot. Wow. Me and Red Ron Bandana, I'm the one that picked him up from the jungle, took him to his own fucking neighborhood, never asked for gas money. Damn. You know what I mean? I'm the one that fucking that got the cameraman down there. I'm the one like that. I'm the one responsible for all that shit. I'm the reason why he knows Big Face Hunt. Wow. You know I mean? that's, I'm the reason why he was part of all that all that shit. And God, you know, quote me on that. And we, we, I mean, the proof is in the place. He he knows. Nah, hey, look. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't trying to start no, I ain't trying to start no problems with the man. Man, you, yeah, you yeah, are a, a fi- you are an official now, member. Now you are official member of the Google Gang slash Real Nigga Radio. You already been yeah. vetted, tried, and proved. For sure. You said it. It got credit. Yeah. And so you can debt it. Yeah. And yeah. The, the thing is that right now, the reason I'm bringing this shit up right now is because now more than ever, now with the with the untimely passing of our brother Brad Rome Seven Eight One, Jermaine Carter from Avenue Piru. Now more than ever, it's when his flowers, even though he didn't give him his flowers when he was still able to breathe and to smell them, now more than ever, it's when it's like, you know what? Red rum. Fuck, fuck tragedy and fuck pandemic. Red rum is responsible for my for my career. Because if it wasn't for red rum, we would have never get up to the time of day. He happened to just, he happened to be up with that video shoot, you know, in the, in the right there in, uh, at the motorcycle club. And the only reason why we acknowledged him or gave him the time of day is because red rum was like, oh, this is my homie right here. 
Where y'all? Where y'all? Like, where where, where, y'all, man, where y'all was why, at? Why, why they, where why? y'all was at? Where y'all was at when Rose Bow <laughs> jumped out on you? Where y'all was at when Rose Mo jumped out on him? That's when he needed y'all the most. Oh no, you know what? <laughs> the, 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 I, think, I think that might that might have been when uh, the little issue actually like I started disliking the man because you know I was, I was always straight with him, and when that shit happened, I hit him up on some like, "Hey homie, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go with you." Mm-hmm. But that's all. Hey man, where you at? Hey, shit, where, where you at? You know what I mean? I guess he thought I was trying he to get thought you was. He thought you. He thought. <laughs> Like he, I don't know if he thought that I was trying to find out or you know get, get info on him. But no, I, he was so shook up. That's my he was so shook up because the, the way they politicked him, he, he you know he tried to classify as a setup. He was so shook, he didn't know who to trust. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I, and I actually was kind of offering my services. Like, oh, you know, we've been through some fucking grinding shit together. You know what I mean? So uh, anything you need, let me know. I got you. But he said, "Oh, nigga, where you, where you at? That's oh, where you staying at now? No, where you staying at now?" You know what I mean? So that's kind of what kind of put a sour taste in my mouth when it came to him. Hey, Trazzy. But, um, but, yeah. Yeah, no, we got another loved one on the line, and we almost at that time. I just wanted to make sure he get a fair share. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but long, long story short, you know, I don't want to take up any more of your time, brother. But um, right now, more than ever, it's like the homie ain't no longer here with us, and now acknowledgement is required. You know what I mean? All the other shit don't matter. All the other bullshit for the birth, but Red Rum is responsible for Bosco. You know what's crazy to me? Where How you and I, when they say birds, when they say birds of a feather flock together. Red Rum was. Yeah, because Red Rum could have easily said, oh, Bosco, I'm responsible for that man because I'm the one that told tragedy to give that motherfucker a ride because he didn't have one. Was they, was they we're politicking? The one, he's the one that, was they politicking all the way to till his death? Was they still cool? I have no idea, but I really couldn't tell you. And I, and I, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. And at the end of the day, everything what I'm saying, if it disrespects the man, fuck it. If it's disrespectful, we can meet up, whatever. And uh, if, he, if he's a man, that he can acknowledge that this is fucking 100% fact. Google game. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, the reason, that's the reason why I wanted to come up with just to address that, because a lot of people are saying rest in peace to the homie. He was this, he was that, he was this, he was that. And we all know a lot of these motherfuckers never looked out for the homie. And I know that he, he always spoke highly of you, Spider. You know what I mean? Because I used to tell, hey, I, I, I was that cat's name on Spider's podcast. Oh, that's the homie, my nigga. That's Tuesday right there. That's the homie. That's the homie. That's why. Uh, that's why. Let me get. Let me. Let me do this. Let me do this for the homie one time because this is how yeah. I would imagine it should be with a gang of niggas. Just based on we have multiple encounters. It's always been one hundred. Pause. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. <laughs> no matter how much time right. passes, how much of a gap, no matter how many. No natural boundaries should be standing between us because of what we established. We we cool. We a Google, and then it seemed like no matter what, when I reencounter you, the way I get out, we gonna pick up right where we left off. It's according to energy, as far as whatever it was. But cats don't get out like that, and it just it's refreshing to know when you tell me. You know, people say I like to be a fly on the wall. I get to be a spider on the wall in rooms I wasn't in. That red room, <laughs> that red room was in because you was there, and I appreciate that tragedy. And uh, real recognized girl, that's why I, I definitely have to step in. And like I said, just because I don't, I don't be uh, calling up as much and shit, don't mean I don't be listening. You know, what I, mean? no, like, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I be, you know, you we, know? Don't, we don't have no schedule around here. A lot of things that were given yeah. to us and mandated and so structured and indoctrinated into us, I tend to naturally steer away yeah. from them. And just because the the it seemingly gets light and dark on the same schedule doesn't mean I have to dictate yeah. my program according to that schedule. I like to do a, a lot of things on a random nature. And I would have more of a I like to talk a little I, I would have more of a schedule if my actual schedule wasn't so sporadic. So I like to be a little more right, sporadic. Right. I'm used to that. I feel like I'm a little more effective. But I know how scheduling also can be effective. And if we ever get a chance to do a little more scheduling, maybe we weren't. We will, but until then, we're going to keep riding the wave right. where we ride it. Absolutely. Much love. All right, brother. Well, I'll definitely tap in. I'll definitely tap in on the next, on the next episode. You know, keep it a Google, all that good shit. Jita. East side. East side. East side. Death east side. Dough, for death dough. All that good shit, you know? Jita. Jita. Appreciate your patience, loved one. Spider love, love one. 
What's good? Yeah, what my you? patience is, 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 um, is long. So you put a platform on, out of my way. Um, Man, much appreciated. You, you're going to bring it in. You're the last caller. Yeah, I wanted to tap in. Um, I originally called to tap in on Ice Cube. Uh, but, you know, just like the the, um, the show always takes me in so many different directions, you kind of um, took me down the rabbit hole of uh, um, bad ass. That's why I, was, I, was, I started, pulled up that old music. We got to thank so Tragedy. We got to thank Tragedy by way of Red Run, rest in peace, because that wasn't me. I, that's not something I was eager to rehatch, but, you know, you know, a dying request. You find out one of your partners just passed his request was one of y'all mutual friends to get that communicated. You know, I did that for Red Run. We dig a lot. No doubt, no doubt. But that, that, like I said, that, that put me in the mind frame of badasses that you were speaking on. Because the way back in the day, I used to be down there in the, from the east side in the LB and knew badass. And I had like this kind of the same experience. I don't know what your experience was, but I, you know, we never got along or whatever, uh, for whatever reason. Um, I never, you know, I never did anything too bad. As I was cool with Daz, uh, Trey D, uh, C style, Big C style, all of them. But Badass were always had a problem with Badass. Rest in peace, though. I don't speak ill on the dead. But no, the, not that likewise. Just, that just it back up. There's an extension of that story because um, long mm-hmm. after our initial incident, um, Beautiful World was a record that was circulating in regards to me. One of my associates was at a music festival like in Newport Beach, passing out CDs. And the way my boy, my boy banged out. He super banged out. Super, super banged out, like to an extreme degree. Like more so than a lot of people crazy, I know. Yeah. Crazy banged out. Yeah, but you see him, he'll look yeah. like a surfer. You'll never know. Like he know how to throw on the most obscure outfits and get fly, and you would think he's a and R working a project for a label out at this con at this convention passing out CDs. So he got his little strong cat on and his little whatever he got on blended in, trying to be A and R passing out CDs and badass got the popping at the mouth about when he got the C D. Oh spot it Beautiful world. Cut his throat and that woo wop wop. It turned into a whole nother boobop. This is years later. Oh, my mom, but my boy was by himself, and badass got a few niggas with him, so it didn't go as bad as the first time. But yeah, he got that first wave of a boop, bop, boop, bop, bop, boop, bop. Rest in peace to badass, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace to badass. Oh, my. Yeah. And then my badass, last my last he, encounter he with badass, he, I was I was hollering at one of my partners in Compton, and uh, he got a t shirt shot where he had, you know, prayers sent to him and his son, too. But uh, I was, I was, he hit me one day and was like, where you at? I'm like, man, I'm on my way that way. He like, how far are you? I'm like, 10, 15 minutes. He like, yeah, pull up, man. I got Badass here, man. I'm like, all right. So now, this is years after all the shits. Me and Badass cool. Like, for I could over, under, understand. Yeah. And I'm like trying to hurry up and get there. I pull up, though, with no Badass. He was gone. Rest in peace, Badass, though. Yeah, rest in peace, badass. We ended up uh, any any bad energy. We ended up squashing. Uh, I ain't seen. I had seen badass in years, but it was a. Um, it used to be a um, a club in Hollywood called the Crush Bar, right on Kawanga and Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, Daz, corrupt, and um, Trey D, and uh, it was the East Siders and uh, uh, Warren G. All had gave like a show up there, and we all went up there, bailed up there, and. Um, so you know, and then we are, you know, that the, the, uh, the show was lit. And you know, um, you know, used to uh, it was in the nineties. Oh, in the nineties, I can say in the two thousands. Yeah, remember, it was in the nineties. I remember I was a show at the Key Club, and um, my uncle Dog, shout out uncle Dog, uh, who you know, records West Coast Rough Riders was his movement at the time, and when his premier yeah. artist was his daughter uh, Janita, and she was coming from Fresno to do a show at the Key Club, opening up for the Dog Pound and corrupting them, and. Um, he wasn't able to make it. The entourage wasn't able to make it. It was like a spare the moment, last minute thing. So he asked me since I was local, could I go and show support? So I went. Cause I had no idea what I was in for. I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, Dog Pound doing the show. Like, they didn't have no new music out that was out. I'm like, what this shit finna be? Like, I'm thinking it's finna be like a rundown show. So 
Um, we go up in that thing, cause my little people, she don't even get to perform. She get the whole little ooh wop, it's all bad. But the club is packed elbow to elbow with nothing but maskings. And these, yeah. these niggas don't do no new music. They do all that, it ain't no fun. Badass was there, Daz was there. I remember ending up, on, I seen Corrupt in the crowd. Corrupt like gave me to come on. So now I'm on stage behind Badass. I remember like giving Badass one of these in his little clavicle. He looked around to see me, cause I got low. I did it to Daz. We, no, I didn't do it to Daz. When Daz left, I just made sure I got his attention. And shit, cuz him. But yeah, I was a crook, got me up on that stage behind him. I know them niggas didn't like that at that time. Shout out to Diggity Daz, though. I ain't tripping. But yeah, the Key Club, they rocked that motherfucker with all that old shit, bro. Like, and they, that shit. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too many us yes, in the crowd. Yes. Oh, my mama. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to all, all those that was around that time. Uh, Ricky Harris, I was the homie. Um, Nate Dog, rest in peace to Nate Dog. Rest in peace to Badass. Oh, that's God. all. That's why look, I, that's why I wanted to tap in with you real quick, homie. You, 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 um, the show always takes me in another direction. I called in to talk about Ice Cube, but, but when I heard man, give me your thoughts. Badass, but look, give me your thoughts. Give, but because look, I, I have a hard time trading Badass for Ice Cube, dead or alive, bro. So please bless. Myself, the Google Gang, I shall tarry longer than I desire in order for you to give me your thoughts on Ice Cube. Because it's a far more uh, favorable subject, according to myself. My my thoughts on Ice Cube is I, I got mad love and mad respect for Ice Cube uh, from uh, Death Certificate to um, Lethal Injection to... Um, everything he did with the West Side Connection and it's gonna take a miracle to drive a car this color, color down, down Imperial. Imperial. I mean, every, everything that Cube did, I, I always stood on everything he did, but I respect him more now to, to have nine, like you say, nine tickets on the table and and, and, and to uh, stand on his, on his integrity. Because to me, that, that, that just solidifies everything he means in, to, in the community and what he just did in L.A. as far as standing on, on principles, you know. It, it yes. ain't too many of those left. Yes. And I, I got to tip my hat to Q for always keeping it, like, keeping it a Google. Um, you know how silently, he, he you know how silently he could have grabbed that nine, did the movie, and ducked off and tucked off and wouldn't have been nobody business? Come on now. So nobody easy. Business. Who's going to so, turn down nine tickets? And, Come and, on, and what, what consequence does he face? Accepting the nine, getting his shine, and just doing what he do. It, it, there's no consequence. So that just lends to the admiration of the decision on, on my behalf because it would have been so easy to make the opposite decision and just still be everything he was in the eyes of the majority when he wouldn't lose nothing. Good looking, G. Lou on Goddard. Shout out to Cube. I appreciate you adding that. Rest in peace, badass. Rest in peace, Red Ron. Oh my mama, mama. But uh, Rest hey, somebody peace, said badass. Cube said F N.W.A. at the top of their success. Hit her with no Vaseline. Oh my mama, mama. Can you imagine a group now coming out calling themselves some men with attitudes though? It's crazy how times change. Attitude ain't even nothing a man really want. Not a masculine man want to claim to be having like. They just had attitudes, but that was, it sounded hard back then, but no Vaseline. That nigga say, ah, damn, I'm glad y'all said it all. Used to be hard. Now you just wet and soft. First you was down with the AK. Now I see you on the video with Missy Lay looking like straight bozos. I saw it coming. That's why I went solo and kept on stomping. When y'all motherfuckers moved straight out of Compton, living with the whites, one big house, and not another nigga in sight. Started off with too much cargo, dump four niggas down, making all the dough. White man just rolling. You niggas with attitudes, who you fooling? Y'all niggas just phony. I put that on my mama and my dead homies. Yellow boy on your team, so you're losing. And yo, Dre, stick to producing, calling me on a butt. You better, dick. Easy, easy, so I went in it quick. Got jealous when I got my own company. 
but I'm a man, and ain't nobody humping me, trying to sound like America's most. You can yell all day, but you don't come close, because you know I'm the one that flow. You done ran 100 miles, and you still got one to go with the L-E-N-C-H-M-O-B, and y'all disgrace the CPT, because you're getting fucked out your green by a white boy with no Vaseline. Yeah, he served it. That shit was hard. Then he did the video Man, 20 years us, later. Now, fight it low. Oh, my mama, mama. That, homie. You blessed us sitting there, homie. Oh, God. Good looking. That nigga say, I never hey, had dinner hey, with hey, the hey, president. Hey, Spider huh? hey, Spider look. Let me, let me say this last thing, too. Because this is one of the hardest lines Cube ever came with, man, in this song called um, The Ghetto Bird, where he say, um, all night long, I heard the bird circle while I was eating fish. And, and watching Urkel. Urkel. <laughs> he said I could sleep on the couch. By 2 a.m., I was digging her out. Fuck the ghetto bird. I fucked the cube. I fucked the cube the long way. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, Q gave the most eloquent essence of our actual environment from film to music for he such did. a long time. It was so hard to debate with his presentation on any time he spoke on the. It was so hard, man. He, yeah, Q was the one, bro. I mean, others had their moments. Was the one, man. Yeah, but he was the one on God. And one of the most. Amazing things for me to see a few years ago to be at the um, Inglewood Forum, bringing it back to Inglewood again, and seeing Cube on stage. Hey, hey hold up, Cube, hold Boy. up, uh, Spider Low. And then when you say, um, um, you used to be the Don, now your name is just Twan. Snapping, twitching, snap rolling your eyes and neck. You, you better, better run a check. check. It, Check, it, it, Check it, yourself. Lyrics, man, to this day, it ain't nobody fucking with you, homie. Man, I'm you, sorry. You knew that. They hey, not fucking with you, homie. Hey, Q got so many jewels. I don't, I mean, I, I'm, you gonna make me want that to say. That nigga say. I, I, man, I, I can sit here that, all, about a hour the next that, hour talking. That nigga Q about say, Q, get homie. your ass up and go to work. Because you know on payday, nigga, that <laughs> shit gonna hurt. Fucking with a skirt instead of handling your business. Rent dude. Now you gotta make three wishes. I'm suspicious. Or any motherfucker putting fuck over finance, especially fucking off my plans. I'm the boss. I could be late, but you'll never see her and me over currency giving you the third degree because you got too many punk bitches in your life begging for a penny. Stop fucking on the dumb dumbs. Find one with some ass and some income. Who want to win? Who want to end? Who want to spend 25-8? Ice Cube the Great. I'm pushing rhymes like weight. Like, yeah, like, yeah, can I go hard? You got another one? I can go oh, bar for bar. You got another man, one? Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what, what do you say? Um, they send you to Charlie Baker, Denver Road. Um, you running up. And you just, that's wait, the wait, same wait, one. You wait, said wait, that one already. Smoke on. You okay. Okay. But, but then let me speak on this one then. Where he say, um, where he, where Q say, uh, um. What about I this I started one? this gangster shit. And it's the motherfucking things I get. That's I started this game this shit, which he did. This what about this? What about I this? Did, what about this? A bitch is a bitch. Well, if you're poor, rich, I still talk in the exact same pitch. Now, the title bitch don't apply to all women, but all women got a little bitch in them. It's like a disease that plays their character, taking the women of America, and it starts with the letter B. To make a girl like that, then she better than me. You see, some get mad, and some just wear it. But if the shoe fit bury it, it make it go deaf in the ear. That's why if you say hi, she won't say hi. Are you the kind that think you too damn fly? Bitch, eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck with you, low. I uh, can't fuck with you, fighting low. I uh, can't fuck fool. with you, low. God, you shut me down. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I go hard. I was low. raised off that cube. Cause I was the one. Cause I, this is how I used to write my rhymes when I was little. I used to like listen to Ice Cube instrumentals, and then I take the song that he rapped on that beat, and I would count how many syllables he said in a bar, and then when I write my shit, I make sure I say at least that many syllables or more. And I'm like, and make sure I made sense and make sure I rhymed. That was the structure I used to give myself for a long time. But then, like, I only few, only had a few instrumentals back then. I had, like, a Gang Star instrumental. I had, like, a Two Short instrumental. And then I had a Gang Ice Cube instrumental. So Ice Cube was the bar. Just be, I don't know. He was always my favorite, though. On my mind. But I could go. I, I know a whole bunch of Ice Cube shit. I know more Ice Cube shit, but yeah, I know my own shit.
you, you got me hyped right now. I can't even, I can't even, you know, you get stuck because I'm, I'm like, I don't have these conversations all the time. Like, you just brought this conversation up, but I fucked with Q because he put our experience now, homie, in L.A. like no other, homie. When, when he what put about this? Up, Once today, upon a time in the day, projects, yo, plus, I damn near had to rock the hoe. I knocked on the door. Who is it? It's Ice Cube. Had to pay a little visit to you. And what's up with them niggas in the parking lot? Said, fuck it. Cause I had to spark a lot. Hey, uh, when I when I finally got the opportunity to record with Ice Cube, without making it a, yeah. a whole deep process, when I got the beat and did the hook, I wrote a, my verse as a melody of Ice Cube verses. Go check out Big Black Boots. Spotted up feature on Ice Cube. Like, my verse I'm is great. just. I'm uh, taking that off soon as we hang up. Yeah, my verse, up. my verse is a whole bunch of Ice Cube phrases from all of his little shit. Like, oh God. Oh, my mama, mama. Spotted up, you the real, this homie. You're I the appreciate you, man. I want you to have a, a blessed day. Likewise. Likewise. And I tap in with you on the next one, big homie. Appreciate you. Much love. Much love, Spider Love. Yep, much love back at you. I appreciate all y'all for tapping in. We didn't came to the end of the time we spent on today. So I just hope y'all come back the next time I'm doing this in the chat room. Y'all can say what up to the Google gang. You dig it live. Everybody tap in. We burning it out today on purpose. The way life goes from the 2 ends project from my love, Blue Smurf, Bay Mac ENT coming out ESAP on my mama mama. Yeah. I I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. Your father told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave him 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was cold up in them sports, but he got sloppy. Just the way the life go. Y'all believe in the streets, seen a lot of grief. A lot of Keith and Kush stuff in the grobbly. Chains, watches, rings. It's nothing to kings. Back and forth to Beijing, fucking with beans. Hopping out of yards since we own it, it's ours. A final room lounge and smoking cigars. Purchasing properties, opening bars. Took licks in life, put tattoos over the scars. Scrolls and verbal retainer, explain how I look for real. It's the kind of bad. Lil homie took the deal, $100 sticks. Cognac and Cubans at all costs. Be about your money is the movement. Either in a black box, making a review about an ocean, slow motion, taking in the view. Cop and blow with hoes, we don't wife those. Zeros and commas, that's I how I so much goes. shit in the streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the shit, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. Ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but it got sloppy. He told that nigga take the deal. Blue rag tied around a steering wheel, riding around itching for a kill. Boy, this shit real. Lifestyle on repeat, sagging through the swap meet, banging on my enemies. Them niggas know I never speak. M's on the backhand, this shit to the death. I can have a million dollars, still pull up to the set. Facts over feelings when you fucking with blue smirk. It's crazy how your closest homies end up on t shirt My niggas tired of taking ill. I know that shit wrong. Got my dead homies looking down on me like a drone. Hopping out of porn whips, politicking with the crips, all in traffic with the homies. Knocking down a fear. Niggas chasing clout, we chase down enemies. Uh, niggas hanging out, then we gon' smash off their hennies. Yeah. That's just the way this life goes. The colors of my clothes always being blue and gold. That's on my soul. I'm so much shit in these streets. Went back to jail, feel like that shit on repeat. I love the shit, but got this feeling in me. I'm tired of losing, maybe shit ain't for me. There ain't no feeling for me. My brother told me take the deal. He told me all you fight is bodies. But that's probably how they body everybody. Gave me 12 up in the court, can't leave the lobby. He was caught up in them sports, but it got sloppy. That's the way the life goes. Tupac of my generation, Pac was, was highly intelligent, but in our culture, street culture, especially his generation, intelligence was viewed as a form of weakness. How do you get the people that's really affected by, you know, what we're trying to solve involved? Yeah. 
Family broken, so I stand with my niggas. Showed up to every shootout, but I ran for my feelings. No time for those, I got a plan to get millions. Whoever don't agree, I see you back at the buildings. That's why I never let y'all act like a victim. That's why I never let y'all guilt my ambition. You weren't built for the mission. Park my colors in the back of the village. Remember Tony started washing them dishes. It was all a decision. Fast died, he took a part of me with him. Heart broken like my artery missing. Just fuck all of you niggas. Team broke, they can't harvest you niggas. Swore shit, it got a heart to it, nigga. Are you for know you wrong? I used to know that I could count on you. All that pressure that I stole them. Pray my son never face what I go through. Yeah. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross one of my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no, no, no. <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, but it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas that came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drink that spot away So it don't feel how like it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was big for me That's my little partner, you do that big for me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings out here You swear I ain't gonna fold them Are you swear I ain't gonna count on you All that pressure that you stole them Pray my son never face what I do Marathon and making moves, taking the heartbreaking news, made major breaking news. Nephews, nieces, siblings, seeds, they confused. Waking up, shaking, aching, praying that it's April Fools. Chosen child from the now down, stakes is huge. Snakes and fakes, straddling the gate, it's too late to choose. Through violent visions, gave victory, paid your dues. Motivated, demonstrated, elevated views. Truths don't die, we multiply. I ain't make the rules. Self medicate, meditate, and celebrate the blues. Neighborhood, roller coaster, you can take the cruise. I'm good. Blue laces, suede, Puma's favorite shoes. Jesus to the generation. You never say me on my babies. Most beautiful gift Puto ever gave me. For such a precious life, who decides price? I couldn't feel the slide twice, cause they crucified Christ. I used to know that I could count on you. All that pressure that I stole them. Pray my son never face what I go through. Can't call family, no, 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 no I cross one of my closest, I ain't gonna show too much emotion, no, no, no. <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, if it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas that came in with me, ain't on my side today I been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something lean on, I drink that spot away So it don't feel how like it feels to me Cause I been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was big for me That's my little partner, you do that big for me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings out here You swear I ain't gonna fold them I used to know that I could count on you All that pressure that you stole them Pray my son never face what I do Sniper and that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that.
overlook my competition Never seeing them I done train my mind that I'm going You could tell by how I walk Talk, I'm a boss A east side millionaire Hold me what you thought My life is a movie Can't get close to me They mad cause they can't be They mad cause they can't be Yeah